Today I will be reviewing some of the wow I did not know you could do that with album gen moments that we've had with some customers. Some features are in plain sight but users just don't quite see or grasp them. Almost every option in album gen has a menu option and keyboard shortcut so I urge you to explore the menus and familiarize yourselves with them. Let me show you a few. One of the things that many customers do is zoom in to get better placement of the frames and images using Control Insert and Control Delete to zoom in and out. These are also available from the edit menu as I show you here. So you can zoom in with Control Delete sorry zoom in with Control Insert and zoom out with Control Delete. I'll show you the zoom in with control insert. So as you can see I've zoomed in and control delete takes you back. Once you're zoomed in especially at a higher level so I'll go here um, you can hit you can zoom out again but rather than do that you can hit the F11 key on your keyboard which will put you into fit to screen so that saves you a lot of keystrokes having to zoom out repeatedly remember every every keystroke counts so if you can save a few by using F11 why not do so another quick way to zoom in is to hit the escape key while placing your mouse over the area to zoom in on if you hit the escape key again, you'll zoom out uh, back to where you were. So in this case, I'm going to hover over this red stamp. I hit the escape key and I'm zoomed at highest level. And then I hit the escape again and I'm back to normal. If I zoom in over the blue stamp, I hit the escape and so forth. Another option not noticed by many users is the album properties. It is accessed by right clicking on the page and select album. Here you'll be able to set some things such as title, author, comments about your album. Most importantly, you can password protect your album so no one can access it without the password. Do not forget the password though. If you do, you will need to send us the file so we can remove or re recover the password for you. Personally, I use the comments field to put in notes, things like, uh, you know, album not quite finished, waiting to do some other pages or certain years or whatever is remindful for me so that I can always refer to it as I need to. Another underused feature is the ability to add hidden text to any object using bookmark names. I will open one of my albums to demonstrate this feature for us. The bookmark name is used for shape objects only to link text that can be used with the search function for easy location at a later time. The text entered as a bookmark does not print on any page. You can place anything in the bookmark that you want. The bookmark name will be applied to all selected, selected objects. So what's the big deal you say? Well, I've been using this feature for years. The reason I brought this up in this video is that I recently received an email from a customer who sent me his beautiful album that he created with AlbumGen. I cannot share it with you as it has certain personal identifiers in it which I cannot show you. But what caught my attention was on the last two pages of this album, he had copious notes on the page numbers, row numbers, position of the row to indicate faults and stamps that he wanted to replace in his album. He kept a printed copy of these two pages so he could find them and once he replaced them, he scratched it off his list. I mean, I guess it works, but there's a much better way to do this, which I will show you. If this user had glanced at the menu options or perused the manual, he could have easily determined that if you bookmark those stamps, you could easily search on the bookmark and find all the stamps you marked as candidates for replacement. Let me show you how easy it is. 
I will use my own USA Columbian set, which I have complete, but some are faulty and will need to be updated at some point in time. This two-page album has my Columbians. Some are mint and some are used. To bookmark a stamp, we right-click on any object or objects and select Properties. I have previously bookmarked the ones that need to be replaced at some point in time. I use the word damaged so I can easily find them in any of my albums. I also use keywords like tear, pull, perf, thin, etc. You can use uh, whatever suits your need. But for now, I'll just mark this one as damaged. And I'll say thin. and click OK to apply it. To find the stamps that I marked as damaged, we simply do a search from the page menu or use the shortcut key of Control alt s And we will tell it what we want to search for. So I'm going to search for anything that has the word damaged in it. And we're going to click Find in the bookmarks. So it found them on page 1 and page 2. I'm going to select uh, page 2 and click Go to Page and mark the ones that have been uh, uh, matched. So on this page, it found two items that I had previously marked as damaged. If I right-click on this one here and go to Properties, You'll see, oops, wrong one. Damaged heavy hinge remnant. I can restrict my searches to find anything within this bookmark. So I will do a search for uh, stamps that have a tear in it. So again, we go to page, search, and I'm going to look for the word tear in the bookmarks and click find and there's some on page two again. So I select it, go to the page, and these two had tears in them, so I'm gonna select this one, right click, properties, and hinge remnant, and it also had a tear. I can also do the same search or a similar search and let's do it for thin. Let's see if any of my stamps have thins in them. So I'm just going to search for thin and found two. So I select it and go to that page. So these two stamps are highlighted for me. And if I select this one and go to properties, uh, did I pick the wrong one again? Um, sorry, I had the background selected. So I'm going to go to uh, Properties again, and there's a stamp with the thin. This makes it easy when you come back to an album months or years later. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and let us know if there are other topics you would like us uh, to cover. Enjoy.